like play around with another fighter, but I'm gonna assume he's starting with Luigi. I mean, yet again, I know Elegant's a type that yeah. he always wants to put his best foot forward, you know? So, unless he knows, like, he's going into, like, a very high-level Richter, like T3 Dome, or maybe even, like, uh... Okay. So we have Young Link on Scylla. So. Oh, Young Link. Okay. Then again, Young Link is going to be a very interesting matchup for Luigi because Young Link just throws out so many projectiles and just can build an incredible wall that Luigi really wants that grab. But you know what? Young Link, when they set up the projectile, it can be really hard to get in. But Elegant not seemingly finding that difficult at all. Yeah, we'll just have to see how well Scylla can stay out of his range uh, with his projectiles and weaving in and out. Uh, but he's getting caught shielding right in his face. And again, it's one of those things where like Luigi also has like the really not like amazing projectiles, but they're one that definitely condition you to his shield with the fireball and the Zare. But yet again, all he needs is that one grab and you know, at low percent it's an 80% death combo and at mid percent it's you no know, down throw up B and at high percent it's down throw down B. So like you just never want to get grabbed by this character ever. Yeah, I feel like this stage pick too, it's kind of risky versus Luigi, primarily because, as you said, uh, he does kill off the top a lot via grab. Uh, so, ooh, no tech. You know, I I like that because it's a long-lasting hitbox. You know, Luigi can't really afford to go deep anymore, so he has to commit to that up eventually. And yeah, you know, I he wanted to avoid the Zare, but unfortunately, yeah, like you said, just went too low. Yeah, definitely. He's. I think he's doing a pretty decent job. Okay, well that bomb is going to interrupt whatever thing Luigi had planned initially. But I mean, he, still, he ate almost 50% off of that. I, I feel like Scylla is just playing way too up close with, with Elegant right here. He's, he needs to zone out a bit more because Luigi's going to have... He's going to take more damage with the, the peanut stuff. And that's, Oh, no punish on the re-grab. But yet again, when you have that... No, Zare recovery. You know, you can use use that to the recovery to you no know, mess up your opponent's timing on the regrab. But unfortunately, elegant reading the roll on stage means that will be the end of that stock for Scylla. Yeah, I definitely like I said. I feel like he just needs to play a bit more range. He's playing too boxy with Luigi and just you know, you know, Young Link has great. He's pretty good frame data, but you know, you give Luigi that one opportunity and it's a. Uh, lights yeah. out. <laughs> and yet again, like I feel like he was also not really respecting Luigi's grab range too, because there were times where like he pulled up a bomb or like tried to throw up a projectile right in Luigi's face, uh -huh. which against most other characters who don't have a very long grab, like yeah, that might work because they won't be able to punish you. But Luigi does have that tether grab, so he can get in a little bit more distance. Final destination. Interesting. Interesting stage paint from Silla here. I wonder what. Elegant ban because he is he is getting the grab. Okay, but no no immediate kill, just 85.2 percent. You know, nothing special. Oh yeah. I mean, that was a regrab setup. I feel like he just didn't, didn't believe the up B would kill, or at the very least, wouldn't connect. But you know, 85 percent off of a one like two combo string. You know, that's incredible. Uh huh. Oh no, the boomerang catch interrupting his option. And yet again, Elegant going for that fair, preventing any hope to return to the stage right there. Yeah, Silla just saying I'm not even trying anymore. Yeah. <laughs> I better get uh, that stage, stage control right. while I can. Ooh, reverse fair landing. Ooh, I love that, using the bear. And you know, it's so lagless. Like, even though he tried to punish it, he still was able to pull up the shield. But Yet again, like we were saying, he's kind of boxing in a little bit too close for comfort for my taste. Missing that ledge jump punish for the dash attack. Oh, okay. Poor Young Link's range. It isn't enough. Oh, okay, we got an up tilt kill. And 39% is nothing, nothing terrible uh, for Young Link to be at right now. Uh, this is relatively even. I mean, you say that until he just throws out an yeah, up beat. Yeah, you know, it was relatively even until he got cornered, unfortunately, and he was still throwing projectiles. And now here comes the blender, and oh, nice oh barely manages to escape. Yeah, good, good roll to get out of that situation, recognizing, or maybe even like panic rolling, but sometimes, sometimes that just saves your life. Oh no. Oh, he tried, he tried to tether, and then it's such a bad tether. Like, it's unfortunate how inconsistent it is. 
at o times. Honestly, like, like, you know when like most characters have a tether, they'll pretty much always go for that tether. I've never seen Young Links. Oh. All right, so that'll be the end of our little commentary block. We both need to go on uh, tournament matches. Well, continue enjoying the tournament. All right. <laughs> Maybe see, see you later.